Welcome to Learning English with Common Ground International. I'm Misty Davidson. I'm an ESL instructor here, and I'm glad that you joined us today. Today we're going to talk about asking questions in English, a very important skill, and we're going to talk about what is the correct word order. People learning English often have a hard time putting the words in the right order when we ask questions, so I hope to make that better today. We can see the young lady who is has a lot of questions to ask. Our objective today, at the end of the lesson, you will know the correct order for yes, no, and WH questions in English. You will know how to do this in simple present, present continuous, simple past, simple future, and present perfect tenses. And you're wondering, how am I going to know in all those tenses? Well, the formula is pretty much the same. If you can do it in one tense and you know the formula, you can apply it to the other tenses. That's the good news. What types of questions are there in English? We have two types of questions in English. The first type is what we call a yes-no question. That means the answer is either yes or no. The second type is a WH question. We'll go more into that. Yes-no questions give us the basic structure of how to, ans to ask a question in English. So I'm going to spend the most time with yes-no questions, because if you can do yes-no, WH is actually pretty easy. It's almost the same. If you understand the yes-no structure, you can do WH. If we're making a statement, not a question, but a statement, the normal word order is subject, verb, and object. For example, he read a book. He, subject, read, verb, object, book. The word order for questions is a little bit different. Let's look at the be verb first of all, because be verb is different. When we ask a question with the be verb, we reverse subject and verb. Statement, he is a student, Question is am, are, or is plus subject, so we say, is he a student? We reverse subject and verb. We go verb subject. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. In the simple past, we reverse subject and verb. Was or was plus subject. Were they happy with their new car? Same formula. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Now, questions can actually be negative. Let's talk about a negative question would be, aren't or isn't plus the subject. Aren't you cold? I'm kind of surprised. I think you should be cold and you don't act cold. Aren't you cold? No, not really. In the past, were or wasn't plus the subject. Wasn't she ready on time? I thought she should be, wasn't she? No, she never is. For a WH question would be. Let's talk about WH question words first of all. There are six WH question words. Who or whom, and whom is for an object. We're going to use who most often. Most English speakers don't differentiate. Who is for a person. What is for a thing. When is for a time. Where for a place. Why for a reason? The answer usually begins with because. And how for a manner? Like a, a way of doing something. Also, how many, how big, how long? To ask a WH question with B, first you have to have the yes no structure. B plus subject. You have the yes no structure, then you just put the WH word in front of the yes no structure. In the simple present, WH plus am or there are plus the subject. Where is my hat? In the closet. In the simple past, WH was or was plus the subject. When was she in Japan last summer? Again, we can do negative. WH is or aren't plus the subject. Why isn't the male here yet? I think the carrier is sick. 
I think it should be here, but he's sick. In the past, why WH plus were or wasn't plus the subject? Why wasn't he at the party? He got lost and never found it. Okay, so this is asking questions with the be verb. Be is different than all the other verbs. In English, all the other verbs use an auxiliary verb when you ask a question, a smaller verb that helps the main verb. For every other verb in English, whether it's regular or irregular, as long as it isn't be, you need an auxiliary verb plus the main verb, the base form of the verb. Let's look at some common auxiliary verbs. The be verb can be just the main verb or it can be an auxiliary. In present, am, are, is. In past, was, were. Have, present and past. Have, has, had. Do, in present, do or does. Past, did. And there are modals that can be auxiliary verbs. These can be the main verb in the sentence. Well, you, they're usually not, but they're always, they always help out another verb. Can, could, may, will, should, or would. We'll see many examples of this. Some English statements use an auxiliary verb, like I can drive. Some do not. All questions in all tenses need an auxiliary verb. Only B does not, and the formula is pretty much the same. Let's look at yes, no questions. Again, yes, no is the basic structure. If you can do yes, no, you can do WH. The simple present and simple past use do for yes, no questions. All verbs except B use this formula for simple present and simple past. The auxiliary, the subject, and the base form. What auxiliary do we use? We use do, a form of do. For simple present, do or does plus subject plus base form. Do, you like football. Do is the auxiliary. Subject, base form, do you like football? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he have a dog? Does, subject, does auxiliary, subject, base form, yes he does, no he doesn't. For a simple past, we use the past of do, we use did, plus subject, plus base form. Did he drive to work today? Did, auxiliary, subject, base form, yes he did, or no he didn't. Okay, for the simple future, we also need an auxiliary, a subject, a base form in that order. The auxiliary is will, subject and base form. Auxiliary, subject, base form. Will your sister graduate in June? Yes, she will, or no, she won't. She didn't pass all her classes. Will is the auxiliary. Subject, your sister, graduate, base form. Again, for yes, no, auxiliary, subject, base form. For a modal, we need modal or auxiliary, subject, and base form, same formula. Can he dance? Modal, auxiliary, he, subject, base form, yes he can, no he can't. Should we buy this? Yes you should, no you shouldn't. To ask a negative yes, no question, negative form of the auxiliary, subject and base verb. Doesn't he drink coffee? I'm surprised, I thought he did. No, he really doesn't. Didn't she get my email? Negative form of the auxiliary subject base form. I guess not. Won't they be thrown out? Won't they be at the party tonight? Auxiliary in the future. Negative auxiliary. Subject, base form, sorry, but they'll be out of town. And this is for somebody who always does the wrong thing. Can't he do anything right? Negative auxiliary, subject, base form, no, not really. 
Shouldn't she be home by now? I think so. So the yes-no formula is auxiliary, subject, and base form. To add a WH question, we use the same yes-no structure, auxiliary, subject, base form, and we put the WH form in front of the yes-no structure. So we have WH, auxiliary, subject, base form. Who did you see yesterday? My friend Anna. WH, auxiliary, did, past tense, you, subject, base form. What did you tell the boss? And this is simple past, so we use the did form. I told him that I was sick. Let's talk about it in the future. When WH will, future auxiliary, you pick me up at 5 p.m. Where should I put my coat with a modal? On the chair. Why did he come, why did he go home early? He has an appointment. How did he get to work today? He took the train. We can ask a ne negative question. For WH, WH, negative auxiliary, subject, base form. Why didn't he tell us he was going to be late? I guess he just wasn't thinking. Okay, so we've talked about past, present. In the present continuous, the formula for yes, no questions is almost the same as other tenses. There is one small difference. Instead of the base form of the verb, we use the ing form. We use the auxiliaries am, are, or is. Am, are, or is plus subject plus ing form. Is Juan going to Cuba this summer? Yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Are you driving right now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. The auxiliary am, are, or is subject and base form, or a negative question, negative auxiliary, subject and ing form. Aren't you going to the game tonight? Sorry, but I'm really tired. For a WH question, we take the yes, no form and add WH. WH, auxiliary, am, are, is, subject, ing form. Where are they going? out to dinner. Negative. Why aren't you going with them? Because they didn't invite me. <coughs> Excuse me. There is one small difference when asking a yes, no pre question in the present perfect tense. We use have or has plus the subject plus the past participle. <coughs> have or has is the auxiliary, then the subject and the past participle. Have you lived here long? Have auxiliary, subject, past participle. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. For a WH question, WH plus have or has plus subject plus past participle. What has she done to her hair? She dyed it purple. For a negative question in the present perfect, Negative auxiliary, subject, past participle. Hasn't she finished the laundry yet? No, she's very slow. Why hasn't he called me yet? I heard that he lost his phone. We've gone through the present perfect quickly. I will do another video at a later time with paying much more attention to the present perfect. Let's talk about some special cases. We've learned the formula. Basically, it's auxiliary, subject, base form. WH, auxiliary subject, base form. Few special cases. Sometimes who or what can be the subject of a sentence. When this happens, you don't need the auxiliary. You just say who or what plus the verb. Who is that man? Who? The subject. Who is the subject of the sentence? Who is that man? He's my friend. Who let you in while I was gone? 
your son. What is his name? What is the subject? What happened to my wallet? It got lost. Okay, but remember the formula auxiliary, subject base form, WH auxiliary, subject base form. Let's do some practice. I'm going to give you a statement. Rewrite the following statements as yes, no questions. In other words, you'll have the answer. Say the yes, no question. Number one, her sister lives in an apartment. Make a yes, no question about that. Does, and I have his, should be her sister. Does her sister live in an apartment? Does, do or does, subject, auxiliary, subject, base form. The answer is yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Okay, they are studying English this year. Make a yes, no question. And we're using present continuous. Are they studying English this year? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Number three, he could speak German last year. This is with a modal. Remember auxiliary subject base form. Could he speak German last year? What's the answer? Yes, he could or no, he couldn't. He has lived in Florida for five years. This is present perfect. Auxiliary subject base form. Has he lived in Florida for five years? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Maria will get here tomorrow. Okay, auxiliary subject base form. Will Maria get here tomorrow? Yes, she will or no, she won't. She is happy in Denver. Auxiliary is she happy in Denver? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. She sent him an email. Simple past, auxiliary, subject, base form. Did she send him an email? Okay. Now we're going to rewrite each statement as a yes, no question. I will give you which W, -A or as a WH question. I will give you which WH word to use. Remember, it's the same statement as yes, no, auxiliary base form and subject. You put the WH in front of it. Her sister lives in an apartment. You're going to make a where question out of that. Where does her sister live? Where, WH, auxiliary, subject, base form, in an apartment. You've seen these sentences before. He has lived in Florida for five years. How long? How long has he lived in Florida? For five years. Number 10, she looked like her mother. Maybe her mother's not living anymore. She looked like her mother. Who? If you said, who did she look like, you are correct. WH, auxiliary, subject, base form. She is driving to work, when? When is she driving to work? Right now. Can I help you? Should be a question mark. How? How can I help you? People will 
ask you this in a store. How can I help you? Okay, let's see if you can do this one a little tricky. She told him something. What? Not so tricky, really. What did she tell me? WH auxiliary subject base form. She is angry. Why? Why is she angry? Because he told her something that wasn't true. Next one, 15. Someone called. You're going to use who? This is a very short one. If you said who called, you're correct. Who is the subject of the sentence? You don't need an auxiliary. Who called? A telemarketer. Let's do some review. There are two kinds of questions in English. Yes, no, and WH. The yes, no has an answer of yes, no. WH are different words. If you know the yes, no structure, the WH structure is easy. Just put the WH in front of the yes, no structure. For B, we invert subject and verb. B plus subject, or WH plus B in subject. For all other verbs, whether they're regular or in irregular, we have the auxiliary, either a be auxiliary, a do auxiliary, a have auxiliary, or a modal. The subject and the base form of the verb, or ing if it's present continuous, past participle if it's present perfect. That's the yes, no form. The WH form is exactly the same, but you put WH in front. WH, auxiliary, subject, base form of verb, or ING, or past participle. We can also ask negative questions. It's the same formula. We just make the auxiliary negative. And finally, when who or what functions as the subject of the sentence, we don't need an auxiliary verb. We have who or what plus the verb. And there we have it. The word order, how we ask questions in English, as you can see, it's the same formula pretty much for everything. I hope you learned a lot today. Hope to see you soon again. This is Misty Davidson from Common Ground International and Learning English. See you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.